Okay, so this will be the last video for chapter 10. <coughs> so again, please try do this problem. It's on kinetic friction. Try and do it yourself. Please try and do it. Pause the video, try and do it, and then see how we can solve this. Okay, so a resort uses a rope to pull a 55 kilogram skier up a 40 degree slope at a constant speed and it, 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 it pulls this guy up or lady uh, up a hundred meters constant speed what does that mean hundred meters okay so you've got this person you've got their skis on and you've got this rope that's pulling them up and they move 100 meters up, a, up an incline, up a slope. All right. Now it says here, A, calculate the tension in the rope if the coefficient of kinetic friction... Okay, well, let's, let's try and draw this properly. So they're on, they're on this incline, and they've got these skis, okay? And they've got this cable that's pulling them up by like a, a motor or something, up uphill, okay? So it says, calculate the tension in the rope if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the snow and skis is 0.2. Okay, so the first thing we want to do always is we want to draw a free body diagram. Okay, so what are all the forces acting on this person? Let's change to green. Well, we've got, obviously we know we've got gravity. And we've got, um, and if we break this guy up, we've got F, G, Y component. And we've also got our F, gravity, X component. So we want to, want to take that as X, that as Y. So here we've got our X component and our Y component. Remember? Uh, these are the components, so we don't include this one in our calculations. Then, what else do we have? Let's change color. We've also got the normal, right? Uh, sorry, your, our contact force. But our contact force, actually that's not right. If we break up our contact force, we're going to have a normal normal force and then we've also got a kinetic friction force in that direction there's our kinetic friction force does it make sense this cable wants to pull it pull this person up but there's a a friction a kinetic friction force that's slowing it down slowing this person down and you've got the normal force okay and then finally you've got what color can we choose uh, how about this We've got the force that we're looking for, which is our F, let's call it F cable on skier, F cable on skier. So we've got all these forces acting on this skier. We've got this upward cable force, we've got the normal force, we've got kinetic friction, we've got gravity in the X and gravity in the Y. So, we're looking for this guy, so let's, let's start in this way. Sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. Why do we say zero? That's important. How can we say zero here? The reason we can say zero is because it's moving at a constant speed. That means there's no acceleration. Okay? Alright, so we've got F, C, S, and this is your tension in the cable. This is the tension in the cable. It's a contact force, a cable on skier. So plus, we choose that as plus x, okay? Minus f kinetic friction, minus f g x equals zero. Okay, so we're looking for this guy, so we know f c s is equal to the kinetic friction plus fgx. 
Now, what is kinetic friction? We know that it's mu k f normal, which is this one, plus we know that mg uh, with this in the x direction is equal to mg sine theta. So there we've got it. We've got we've got the expression for what we're looking for, but we don't have f n. Okay, so some of the forces in the y is equal to zero. It's not accelerating in the y direction. So we've got normal force minus FGY is zero. So the normal force is equal to, and we know this is equal to MG cos theta. So it's MG cos of theta. And that, that's our theta, right? That's theta there. So FN is MG cos theta. So if we, if we plug this guy back into there, we're going to see... This is the tension in the cable is equal to mu k times mg cos theta plus mg sine theta. And so what was that, the value of mu k? It's 0.2, 55, 40 degrees. Okay. So this would become 0.2. Uh, times 55, times 9.81, times cos of 40, plus 55, 9.81, sine of 40. And the answer to this was what I calculate is 429.5 Newton. So this is the, the, this is the tension in that cable that's pulling the person up. Four, we're at almost 430 Newton, okay, pulling them up. Now, the second question is, how much work does the rope do on the skier? How much work? So this is B. So work is F dot delta X or delta R. Right, let's have a look at the solution here. F dot delta R. Okay? So I'm just going to erase this again. F dot delta R. The delta R is your displacement vector. And so we know, what is this force? It's this. It's uh, your FCS. Okay? And then what is your delta R? Remember, he moved up. 100 meters so that's 100 that's that's the and then what is the angle we know that the force and the displacement are both in the same direction so we've got cos of zero and so we've got 429.5 times 100 is equal to 4295500 joules 429,000. Let's see what this guy says. 43, approximately 43 kilojoules. Okay. Oh, I've made a mistake here. That should be 1, 2. Okay. That's, that's wrong. So there we go. 42.9 kilojoules I get. That's the work. Cheers.